Hello everybody, welcome to the Stream Geeks video where I am going to show you the brand new Magewell Pro Convert HDMI 4K which converts HDMI signals into NDI. Let's open the box. Check it out, what we've all been waiting for, an affordable, easy to use NDI converter box. Take a look at it, not much bigger than the HDMI version of this box. Let's take a look at them together here. So this is the HDMI capture device. You guys have probably seen this, this is the HDMI Pro. Maybe you've seen the HDMI regular version. This one has the HDMI loop through, just like you're seeing down here. And then instead of a USB output on the regular capture card here, we have an Ethernet port. That's right. That's what we've all been waiting for. PoE powers the device. We've got our HDMI loop through, and then it looks like we've got a bonus right here, PTZ control. So let's go ahead and set this up so I can show you how it works. So first of all, I'm going to plug this into Ethernet. Ethernet is going to provide power to the, to the device. It uses DHCP, so we can go ahead and this thing is going to grab an IP address. Um, I've got an HDMI cable here. It's kind of long, um, and I'm going to plug it into the back of our PTZ Optics camera here, which has an open HDMI port. Go ahead and slip that in there. And then I'm going to plug in the HDMI into our Pro Capture device. And I would potentially loop this through in a normal scenario to my HDMI monitor behind me, because that's generally how I like to run things. But I'm going to use my HDMI monitor here to show you the NDI Studio monitor. Now, I do have what is called an 8-pin mini DIN connector. Oh, yeah. That's what connects into this little PTZ port here. Can we do it? Here we go. But I've already tested it and the pinouts aren't working. So I have, that's the last thing that I got to figure out with this. But let's take a look at the interface here. So I've got the NDI Studio Monitor up here. If you guys haven't seen that, that's a free tool from New Tech. And when you right click on this device, I don't know if we can zoom into this at all, Mike. But when you right click it, you can choose from all of the different NDI sources that are automatically being detected on your local area network. Now, this might be a little too small for you guys to see, unless we could zoom in a little bit. But it right there is coming up as the Pro. There we go. Dang, Mike, you're good. Pro Convert HDMI 4K. I go ahead and click it, and boom, bada bing, I've got the video coming off of that camera. Now the PTZ section does come up. Again, I'm still working on getting that working, but I thought, hey, for those of you who are not, not using PTZ cameras, still, this is a really great product. For those of you that are, I guarantee we're gonna figure it out. It has to do with a cable pinout issue. Now what I just did was I, right, I actually clicked the little cog in the bottom there, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna open up a web browser that connects directly to this device. I can see this device is 192.168.1.233. And by default, it's admin, admin with a capital A. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in here. And I, this is the first Magewell product that I've seen that actually has an IP dashboard like this. So I thought they did a really great job. You can see here that the uh, device is operating temperature. You can see the memory. You can see it has a one gigabit connection here. You can see it's actually sending 100 megabits. That's what you want to see for a high quality NDI video. So we're sending actually 115 megs there. 
Um, you can see here we're encoding 100 megabits, and uh, we are at 1080p at 30 frames a second. So a nice little dashboard here, giving us a lot of great information, the model number, the serial number, stuff that you, you know makes it easy for you to troubleshoot and have available. Um, the other thing that you can do here, got a little bit of information about signal. We also have video format here. Um, it can ingest 444 video, but it does 422 when it streams. Correct me if I'm wrong there, guys, but that's what I read. It also does support EDID, so you've got all your EDID information. You have some NDI settings here. If you're grouping NDI, if you're using a lot of NDI sources as we do, you can set them up in groups. And then here is the probably the most interesting portion for me here is the PTZ section. Uh, we have Visca over IP there, and we have baud rate and camera number. So that means ideally we should be able to control multiple cameras off a chain here. That means we're extending Visca. So very powerful stuff here if it works. So that's pretty much it, guys. Just wanted to show that off there. This is the Magewell Pro Convert, the first Magewell converter in the NDI line. You can read more about it in our blog. Don't forget to like this and subscribe to our channel to learn more about live streaming technology. Bye, everybody.